Hey my loves, welcome back to another video. For those of you who are new, I'm Ravina Singh, a home management consultant, and I love sharing my tips and ideas here on my channel. Now this video is sponsored by Skillshare, and I will tell you a little more about them later in the video. For those of you who follow me on Facebook and Instagram, you will know that we are in the midst of training Zoe. She is our six-year-old multipoo. She's the sweetest creature when she's surrounded by family. She's probably closest to me because, well, I'm home most of the day. And she has kind of attached herself to me. She with me all the time and literally mopes if I leave the house. But she can also be very aggressive towards visitors, even those she knows. So recently, B engaged a trainer to come by and help her to be less insecure and less anxious. Mr. Mo has been very effective and one of his recommendations was to give her a space of her own to sort of withdraw to. It seems like even dogs need alone time. So since she spends a lot of her time near my office area, this area was a good choice. Therefore, I have sacrificed my printer and storage area to create a little space for her. And welcome to Zoe's new abode. She's changing her name to Zoe Porter because... Well, I stuck her under the staircase too, didn't I? We emptied out this room first and then I touched up and smoothed out all the walls and then I painted it with this light blush pink to match the aesthetic of this entire area. And I got this colour code from Freddie My Love's channel. I really hope you can appreciate the colour on camera because it, it, it looks almost white at certain angles. I want this to be an extension of my space and not a standalone. Now, there has to be a flow in your decor so the place looks bigger. So in keeping the visual in mind, I got my son to wallpaper this slanted ceiling with the same wallpaper as the back of my PAX bookcase in my office so that it would have this seamless effect. It's sort of for continuity. Now in the room, as you can see, I have removed all the shelving except this one, which I will keep to store her things. We got this small rug for her room in soft pink. In case you're wondering, this area for Zoe is 100 by 150 cm, but there is more space beyond that. Behind this curtain, there is still some empty space. Every space in your home can be utilized. And I have hidden some seldom needed stuff in here. So instead of sealing it off and making it non-existent, I've used a curtain to make this space easily accessible when need be. To hang this, I have just used an extendable tension rod and three lace curtains. Now both these items are from the dollar store. Now just let me take a moment to tell you about the sponsors of this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and a lot more. On Skillshare, millions of members come together to find inspiration, and you can be one of them to join them on this creative journey. Personally, I have been using Skillshare to learn about how to train a dog and how to do things for Zoe, and I have found it very useful. I will leave you a link to Skillshare, and the first 1,000 people to click on the link will get a free trial of their premium account. So, let's get back to Zoe. She's already trying to get everyone's attention right here. So, I've got these three baskets. These are in two sizes, actually, and I'm just going to use these for storing all her stuff. These are soft, flexible, grey and pink, so... Just about anything can fit in them and they can go anywhere in the room. The first one is going to be for her playtime toys. Now, we use these toys when we play with her. She never plays with these when she's alone. So, I want to put them where she can't see them. So that when we bring them out, she gets all, you know, playful and excited. And with training and all, there is a lot going on in this little girl's world. So... We need to remind her that we love her, even though we are being a bit strict, and that's very important for her. And these are her soft toys, which little Chewbacca here often just totally destroys. This elephant here is her favourite, well, though not today. She's fighting for the squeaky toy instead. 
And this is actually an infant's toy I picked up, heaven knows from where. These I would definitely leave on the rug here for her easy access. Hey, we're still following the rules of organization, okay? They apply here too. Things should be accessible to those who need to access it. And the third basket is going to be for her shirts. I'm no longer using baby hangers like I used to previously. I'm just going to fold her clothes this time round. So this basket is also best kept away from her where we can reach for it, but she can't. Or they're just going to be scattered all over the house. I also ordered this baby diaper bag to keep her grooming supplies ready to go. Since we need to take her toiletries, for the want of a better word, toiletries, to the washing area, it makes sense to have her shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner, and antibacterial pet spray, and also her towel in here. I love this bear hoodie towel, although she does try to pull off the ears all the time. It makes it easy to just have a bag that I can grab to go. And it's also very convenient for us to take along when we send her to the groomers. And then just to add a bit of style, I also added two of these flamingos from my office in here. And yes, I'm adding a little plant just to add some freshness, even though it's full, but it'll add some freshness to this room. On the opposite wall, I got these canvases meant for a little girl's nursery. I think the colors complement the room and gives it a very nursery feel that I'm going for. So now we have a pet nursery coming up for us. Now the deco is very similar to my office, but this time it's a little more whimsical and has a baby feel. I recently also got her new bed. The top is furry and it is firm, but unfortunately it's a little slippery because the cushion is separate from the base. So I'm just adding these Velcro dots to hold them in place. This bed has wooden legs, which will match the photo frames. Again, another rule of organization and uh, decor is have at least two things in one space to keep uniformity and not make it stick out. I'm not keeping any food items in here because I really don't want any insects and roaches, but everything else of hers is consolidated to this space, except for her toothbrush and toothpaste. Because we brush her teeth in our bathroom at night before bed, so I believe it is best kept where it is used. So there we have it, a small space for our dogs and cats to retreat to when they feel overwhelmed or insecure. Animals have feelings and moods too, just like us. Whether it is a rescue or a designer breed, they become family and deserve our love. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I look forward to sharing more ideas and spaces with you. And until the next video, this is Ravina saying, happy homemaking.